this video, I'll show you how to use text to columns. So for example, number one, we have here the contact number. And let's say I want to display in three separate columns, the first four digits, the mid three digits, and the last four digits. So how can we separate the data of the contact number? First, you can highlight the contact number column starting from cell B3 to cell B20. Copy the data on cell C3 to cell C20 and paste it. Next, in order to separate the data, we can use text to column. Text to column can be found under data ribbon. And on the right side panel of the data ribbon, make sure that you highlighted first your data set. And then you click text to columns. Text to columns has two options, delimited and fixed width. Delimited it means we're talking about a special character separator for our data. We can use that and convert that as a column. In fixed width, we can manually add a line in between the text that can be served as the column of each data. In the meantime, let me start with the limited. Click next button. And on the next page, you need to set the character. It's not a tab. Then check the other, type dash, and you'll notice at the bottom, we have here the separation. The dash character turns into a line or column. Click on the next page. The last page, you can edit the data type of each column. We will not change anything. You just need a general format for that data. If you're done, click finish. According to text to column, there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? What will text to column will do? It will overwrite any existing data on the right side of the first column, right? Which is column C. In the meantime, we will continue with this one since we don't have anything that will be overrated. So let me click OK. And this is where we can have the output for the text to column. Now, for example, number two, how about if we need to get or display the username and the domain name in two different columns? We can actually highlight the email address given, right click, copy, move to username and paste the data. If I need to separate username and domain name, we can use the add sign as the character separator. Now, let me go back to data, click text to columns over here. Let's click on the limited. Click next. Specify the character on the other text box type at symbol. You're done. Click next. Will not change anything here. Click finish. Click OK. Now you have it. This is for the username column. And this is for the domain name column. And that's it for text to column.